and uh, have a wonderful day. Thanks so much, Kathleen. Thank you. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. That was wonderful. I love the way she speaks. I know. She's very eloquent. Very eloquent. Very And very well passionate. Spoken. This is obviously... Yes. Well, I know how she feels. I mean, I'm, I'm the advocate for Bowen because it changed my life. It's not that I'm saying massage isn't nice or chiropractic isn't. But this is what your this experience is, where, is. Yeah, exactly. And she certainly had an amazing experience mm -hmm. with CCSVI, which is, I mean, I know that there's controversy and I know that that's why there's such a strong community on exactly. Facebook. There's a lot of people that are very angry that they can't get it at the hospital down the street. Right. Um, and that's why we've got the MS Society. Um, you know, everyone's pointing their fingers at them. Hey, guys. Yeah, and, and I mean, they're trying to do their best. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to find out more about that. Yeah. So. Yeah. We've got them here to speak for themselves. Um, so, yeah, that was, that was. Yeah, that was beautiful. Pretty amazing to speak to someone that's had her life change so dramatically. She's been to the dark side and now she's she come back. In the sunlight. <laughs> so we're well. Is Sharon ready? Okay, wonderful. We've got Sharon here. She's going to give us her two-minute uh, health tips. and beauty tips. Hello, Sharon. Hi. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. Can you see me? Because I can't see you. Yeah, yeah, we can see you. You look wonderful. Okay, then. that's all that counts then. <laughs> Uh, some great information on the show today, huh? Mm -hmm. And um, one of the things that I hear over and over again, as was already spoken, diet, uh, exercise, yep. and how you manage your emotional self are all part of uh, health in any endeavor or dealing with any illness. Yeah, and it all comes back to it that. It, it really exactly. does. I mean, it's not going to cure everything, right? We still no. need our medical system and all of oh, the other sure. stuff. But it's oh, nice sure. to know that we have something to that control. That we can do ourselves, yes. So what are you going to show us today? What's our beauty tip? Well, beauty tip today is if you're um, having a lot of trouble moving, etc., and washed your hair and it's hard to move your arms around, do like I've just done. Pull it right back. Put a little gel in it, and it looks great. Throw on a little bit of makeup if you can, and it's one way of getting around that uh, your hair looks clean and neat, and it's the classic, one of the oldest hairstyles around. Uh, you can just pin it up at the back. You can add uh, one of those hair scrunchies that we talked about before, mm -hmm. but it's a simple and easy way of looking neat and looking groomed and feeling fresh. Yeah, and it's important, too, like we talked about the emotional issues. Absolutely. If, if you've done a little bit to make yourself look better then you feel better you do you feel better and you're right you know because if you haven't had the opportunity to wash your hair and it's hanging in your face you can see you that it's grubby. not very clean but if it's pulled back it looks wonderful you look yes and you can sorry go ahead oh well, i was just going to say you look really fresh and and dressed up even i mean that's mm -hmm. a dressy hairstyle too if you'd like well, that's the thing. You can wear this to the opera or you can wear it to the grocery store or sitting around, you know, just healing at home. It, it, it makes you feel fresh. I think one of the things uh, that's really important that sometimes people let go of uh, when, they're, when they're feeling uh, poorly is to let go of their personal hygiene, which is a major beauty uh, 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 component. And if you need help, get it. Yeah, and yeah. if you don't, take the time that you need to get yourself fresh, feeling fresh, clean, and it will do an awful lot to helping make you feel better. That smile on your face will be a little fresher too when you feel fresher inside and outside. Oh, what a beautiful sentiment. Mm -hmm. That's that's a it's wonderful true. tip. It's something that you always see things from such a good angle, Sharon. Absolutely. Oh, Very you. thoughtful. Thank you so much um, thank you. for your quick tip. And, and I'll uh, look forward to the rest of the show. Yes, and next week, we'll see you next week. It's bed bugs next week. So. Oh, joy, <laughs> oh, rapture. <laughs> From MS to bed bugs. How do we do oh, that, fun. eh? <laughs> I love your range of topics. <laughs> <laughs> no, we always arrive at them in such interesting ways. Yeah, we do. It's true. Okay, so have a great week. We'll talk to you next you week. Too. Okay, bye-bye. Thanks a lot. Yeah, we didn't really even talk about how we arrived at the MS um, topic because it was I was talking to a naturopath who um, from Waterdown who has MS. Mm -hmm. I think I might have touched on that, but um, she's getting the procedure done tomorrow. So right. <laughs> she didn't really want to talk really... about the CCSVI because, again, it's like, it's well, controversial who and... knows in yeah. Canada, right? So um, she avoided it by going to get it done. <laughs> <laughs> so
so she doesn't have to be here to talk about it. But we are going to have her on the show afterwards to talk about how it's changed, if it's changed yeah. anything. Let's hope, you know, that it's as effective for her as it was for Kathleen. Absolutely. That's... But, um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a really quick break, and we're going to get Michelle Kingston here Perfect. from the M MS Society, and um, we'll have a couple minutes with her, uh, then Anna, and then more time with Michelle. So we'll sort of split it up a little yeah, bit. So we'll good. be right back. Fibromyalgia is a debilitating condition that affects almost 1 million Canadians today. If you have fibromyalgia, Let It Heal has a treatment that can help you. As advanced Bowen practitioners, we use a precise system of body work to initiate the body's ability to heal itself with incredible results. I've spent years looking for relief from my pain and after only a few treatments at Let It Heal, the pain is gone and I can live my life again. Call Let It Heal or drop by their clinic in Burlington. Do you suffer from back pain, sciatica, or other debilitating conditions such as neck, shoulder, or foot pain? Find the relief you're looking for at Let It Heal. As advanced Bowen practitioners, we use a precise system of body work to initiate the body's ability to heal itself with incredible results. I've spent years looking for relief from my pain and after only a few treatments at Let It Heal, the pain is gone and I can live my life again. Call Let It Heal or drop by their clinic in Burlington. Hi, we're back. That was a really quick break. That was a quick break. We just needed a, a little time to rearrange things and mm -hmm. get Michelle here. So welcome. Thank you very Thanks much for, for having me. Us. I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, I'm glad you came. And I didn't realize you were coming from Halton. We totally could have taken the train together. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of that, but i got to go back to work after. So that's yes. okay. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. I like <laughs> so the drive to Toronto. To yeah, I <laughs> oh, enjoy it. it's a wonderful drive. <laughs> as long oh. as it's not every day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Once in a while, yeah. Yeah, once in a while. So what's your role at the MS Society in Halton? I am the Client Services Coordinator. I take care of the whole Halton region, so anything from Georgetown, Acton, Halton Hills, all the way down to Oakville. Wow. Um, my biggest part of my role is support and counseling, I would say. Um, I often get many calls from clients that are newly diagnosed that have just gotten the diagnosis from the neurologist and have no idea where to go. Oh, wow. So what we've done in our chapter, in most chapters, um, we put together a newly diagnosed package. So it gives you general information, some good books to read, because often when you get that diagnosis, you run to the internet and you look up everything, which is great, There's but you so look much. at the worst case scenario. It's so true. Yeah, that's um, depressing. I'm gonna go blind, I'm gonna be in a wheelchair, I won't be able to eat all of those things and that's so untrue because every client is so different. I have one client in particular, 31 years had MS. She says to me, some days her bladder doesn't work. That's it. Wow. There's nothing else. But then we have other clients that are diagnosed and three years later being in a power wheelchair. Is there a determining factor? Like the lady who just has occasionally bladder problems, is she on a really good drug? Or is she doing something? It's it's the luck of the draw. I hate to it's say the luck it is the, the luck of the draw. Yeah. It really depends on where the lesions are happening in your brain. It really depends on everything. Um, you will you could even put five clients the same age diagnosed at the same time, and you'll get five different results. Yeah. Everyone is so unique with everything. Wow. And what might help one client won't help the next client. Hmm. As long as you're there, you know, obviously you know all the different scenarios and yeah. you're there for support. Yeah, right? our, our so biggest thing is we're there with a, you know, a, an open ear and, and just please. Yeah. I have clients come in and they'll sit for an hour just wanting to chat. It's like, okay, that's why I'm there. That's we also wonderful. look for the signs of, um, like everyone had said so far today, about depression, yes. right. social isolation, huge. Mm -hmm. So we also look for those signs and sometimes it's hard, but you have to make that comment of, is everything really okay? Have you made, you know, do you have those thoughts? Should be going to the next spot? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, good for you, the yeah. preventative stuff. So it's hard sometimes because you get so emotionally involved, but it is really fulfilling that you know that you're taking that time with that client and you could be making a difference in their life. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm sure you're making a huge difference. Absolutely. Just you. knowing you're there. It's um, what I want to talk about is. Um, signs and symptoms like how would someone know that maybe they might be experiencing like maybe it's the early onset stuff exactly i think we've got anna skyping in Let's though talk about so, it. Let's talk. yeah how, okay i mean vision is that's the first one that i think of but you know if, if someone thinks that they m might be a candidate for maybe they're they've got ms what would they be telling their doctor um, it is very hard and it's it's very common that it will take two to three years sometimes to get di diagnosed. It's sad to say but a lot of times clients will go to doctor after doctor after doctor and hear anything from, oh you have an inner ear problem, oh you've got, you know, you have to wear glasses, oh it's in your head. 
Wow. Yeah, psychosomatic. Yes, and it's very difficult with that. So sometimes um, just going through the idea, sight is a big thing. You'll have a blind spot. Right. Um, dizziness. Um, the foggy brain is very, very common. It, but again, it's, it's varied from every client. So if something is going on that just doesn't seem normal, keep a log. Absolutely. Okay. The log is a the wonderful idea. The log is idea. huge. And try to pinpoint when does it happen. Does it happen in the morning? Does it happen at night? Um, because the, your doctors are going to ask you flat out, what did you eat? What did you do? Yep. So if you start making those logs, it, it does make it easier to go in and say, here's all my facts. Now help me. Mm -hmm. But don't right. get frustrated when the doctor tries to undiagnose other things. They've often done that with clients because they don't quite know what it is. So let's test you for all these other things first. They've got a tough job. Yeah. Yes. Some, it's not easy. It's, it's not. And some clients will have symptoms for years and never have a lesion in their brain. Right. Oh. Or the lesion will be on your spinal cord. And a lot of times you don't get that checked right away. It'll, yeah, that's right. So it is very frustrating for the client. And, and I understand why it's so frustrating, but it can be client frustrating on the neurologist too, because they have ideas in their head, but they can't quite pinpoint Oh, absolutely. And if they misdiagnose, they're going to court. These guys are exactly. stuck between a rock and a hard like numbness place. in the hands. That could pinpoint could a lot of different oh, things. Oh, anything. Number of different right? things. Right? So, see so many people with that in the yeah. clinic. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah. yeah. You'll find a lot of people will have symptoms over the years, but no one ever put them all together. Because why would you? Out yeah. of the blue, why would you ever want to put those together? Wow. Yeah. So the log is a wonderful idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that. That's one suggestion. Just put that out there right now. If you think that you may be um, suffering from MS, Just start, start a log. logging it. Start yeah. now. You might be logging it for a year. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Right. Even if you are diagnosed, still keep a log. Yes. Because with attacks happening maybe once a year, once every six years, you might never have another one. But if something slightly is changing, it's good to keep a log. Yeah, yeah, because we tend to, we forget what we did, like Kathleen said, especially if there's Foggy MS brain. in that brain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what yep. did I do last weekend? Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. So um, we've got Anna now oh, back excellent. on Skype. So we'll come back to okay. more questions for sure for you. Good morning. Do you Anna. suffer from back pain, sciatica, or other debilitating conditions such as neck, shoulder, or foot pain? Find the relief you're looking for at Let It Heal. As advanced Bowen practitioners, we use a precise system of body work to initiate the body's ability to heal itself with incredible results. I've spent years looking for relief for my pain and after only a few treatments at Let It Heal, the pain is gone and I can live my life again. Call Let It Heal or drop by their clinic in Burlington. Fibromyalgia is a debilitating condition that affects almost one million Canadians today. If you have fibromyalgia, Let It Heal has a treatment that can help you. As advanced Bowen practitioners, we use a precise system of body work to initiate the body's ability to heal itself with incredible results. I've spent years looking for relief for my pain and after only a few treatments at Let It Heal, the pain is gone and I can live my life again. Call Let It Heal or drop by their clinic in Burlington. I was just in the middle of apologizing. That <laughs> no, couldn't sorry, get it to it's work. me. I'm not that computer literate. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. It's never straightforward with Skype because sometimes the feedback happens. But welcome. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Amber. Nice to see you. Yeah. Well, we've chatted on Facebook and, and we've never actually spoken to each other. I wasn't sure how to pronounce your last name. Do we say the E or is it just silent? No, it's just Delorme. Okay, Delorme. I was trying okay. to be exotic. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> So, uh, so your story, I was just sharing um, with the viewers how much you helped me and just sharing information with me and hooking me up with the right people in the CCSVI community. Um, but also, you have your own story, don't you? I guess we all have a story. Yeah. yeah. And yours is, you, you had the, the surgery done this summer, did you? Yes, my, uh, my birthday, my second birthday, as Kathleen put it, was uh, <laughs> July 13th at 1 o'clock this summer. Yeah. Wow. And where did you get it done? I just went over the border to Albany, New York. Okay. Oh. So it's nice to know that there's treatment facilities that there close. too. I think Rhode Island has one too. Oh, do now. they? Okay. So, yeah. And, um, and did you notice some improvements? Like Kathleen, um, I didn't notice them on the table because mine are a lot more that I would notice after I left the building. Mm -hmm. um, and sure enough, though, as we were walking out the building, um, I noticed my balance was back and I didn't have to look down at the floor. Um, as wow. I was walking out, I was actually looking over to my husband.